All right, let us write another program for our motors, but let's turn them on and off with a switch. And let's also use a light to tell us that we are on and off. So new program, save as uh, motors with switches and light. If you had two light, that'd be nice too. We could do that. Um, now again, we gotta set some things up. I'm just going through sets up again, again, but you can always just you know, make a copy of your uh, program you already have all the setup in. Just don't keep overwriting the same program. Just you know, make a copy of it. So right, left, center, the 393. And again, sometime I got to see if we can put 393 in there when, when it's hooked up to a, to a three wire. 393. Maybe I don't want to do that right now. Three wire. Apply. We've got um, on digital one, we've got a limit switch. I'll call it limit. It is a touch switch. We have a bump switch. I'm capitalizing just because sometimes it, there's variables in there um, so i'm putting one capital on something because variable doesn't have it or has it in a different place I, I, so the names are okay basically is what i'm doing so it doesn't care about the names apply okay all right so we got all that stuff let's go back to this and grab part of our code that we were using before and this is why i said you could always just resave this as a different name and then uh, use it again, just add some stuff and tweak it. So first I wanna make sure we start with the light off. Cause sometimes it's got a voltage bleed through. So now we wanna do uh, until touch. And we'd have to investigate what these other ones do. And let's turn it on with the limit switch. Um, the light is actually called light now. Center is called center. Bump is bump with a capital. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, you actually don't have to stop the motor. It should stop by itself. Um, but let's just stop it, and you'll see. Because um, I'm going to stop the center one. Oh, better call that center with a capital, because that's what it's called. And then let's also turn off the light. So it would be like when the light's on, it's on. When it's off, it is off. Turn LED off. It is port, port called light. So we have turn LED off just to get it. Again, start putting comments in. Make sure it is off. Because sometimes it's got some bleed through. Uh, two, when we hit limit switch, Start doing stuff. Start motors and turn light on. And then, so the right motor is going to go on and the center motor is going to go on. And you can make the left, that's fine. Um, and then I want to put a space in here just say, hey, we're separating some stuff. These are things that are going on at once and then something else is going to happen. You don't have to put white space. But it's nice to like set off paragraphs of things that are common and what's going on. Okay. And now here, get some comments. Um, turn things off. All right. Um, curly bracket, curly bracket, we're good. Compile the program, make sure there's no errors in what we wrote. We didn't forget a semicolon, variables are okay. Download the robot. And hit start. And nothing happens because we got to hit a switch to something, something to happen. So look at your LED, look at your motors, hit your switch. Bam. Hey, the light didn't go on. How come? Because we forgot to tell it to put the light on. Um, we turned it off, but we didn't turn it on. Uh, da, 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 special, turn LED on. After I hit the switch, all right, compiled again, downloaded again.
Hit start. Nothing happens because again, it's waiting for a switch. Hit the switch. Light went on. Motors are running. Hit the other switch. And both motors went off and the light went off. So that's what I say. You don't actually have to put stop motor, but you should always put it just because. Uh, I want to make sure it does actually stop. So that nothing just continues on going. So um, kind of boring because um, it only does it once. You got to put loops in here. You got to put a while loop or an if loop or that will come up next.